Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. The washroom report. Okay, it is September the 26th, 2019. The time here, Central Standard Time, uh, is approximately 9.25 p.m. There is so much going on today. It is utterly insanity is what it is. It's just... It is so obvious to me that the delusion has fallen, okay? Um, <laughs> all day long at the UNGA, United Nations General Assembly, um, Saudi Arabia blaming Iran, multitudes of people blaming Iran, Multitudes of people standing with the Maduro dictatorship in Venezuela. Uh, Emmanuel Macron of France thinking he's going to be this big peacemaker when it comes to Iran and the United States. Uh, President Rouhani getting up and talking about how um, he and uh, his government refuses to even speak to the United States about anything until all sanctions are lifted. As it came out earlier today that um, they have already way up their centrifuges on uh, the uranium or plutonium, whatever it is. Radiation <laughs> warheads, nuclear, okay? Crazy insanity. Crazy insanity. Um, then, uh, if you remember last Friday, I reported on in Egypt, there were thousands that came out in protest. Okay, this week. Okay, um, and I do believe that um, Egypt's LCC is the fierce king in Isaiah 19, and if you read that, you may, you know, come about that yourself, okay? Because once again, um, there have been somewhere between 12 and 1,500 people arrested since last Friday, okay? I'm sure some of them have probably been killed by now, um, but they are imprisoned, okay, uh, for these mass protests. No protest in Egypt, period, okay? They can allow ISIS to be fighting on Mount Sinai, killing anybody that tries to pass through. But if you dare protest against the government, you will be jailed. Um, so, Egypt, <laughs> just uh, for your info... Uh, Egypt happened to be one of the uh, dictatorships that ruled in favor of the Maduro regime, starving their people in Venezuela, okay, and not allowing them to have any freedom. There's so many people that are sick and dying over there, little children, their parents, everything. There's no food. There's, there's just nothing, okay? It, I can't even believe that here we are in 2019, you know, the one percenters, they have all the power, they have all the greed, all the money, you know, they could choose to do good with it, but do they? No, they do not. They would rather to have another war so they can kill off as many of us as possible. Um, but now, back to Egypt. Tomorrow, there's supposed to be a one million man march. In Egypt. Okay? So we'll be looking for that. And then it's Friday. So then there's going to be the Israel demonstrations at the Gaza border. Okay? There was a stabbing attack. An Israeli policewoman was stabbed uh, in Jerusalem early this morning. Um, I think she's going to be all right, though. She didn't perish. Um, they did catch the attacker. Amen? Praise God on that. Um... What else was there? I mean, it's just, okay, um, there was some sort of fire. Not sure if it was some sort of a bomb attack uh, by Russia in the Ukraine, which it actually was in Donetsk, which uh, that's the piece of property in the Ukraine 
that Obama just allowed Russia, Putin, just to take over that portion of Ukraine because it was a port that he needed to be able to move his weapons, to move his oil, gas, whatever around, okay? Uh, so he just took over, you know, there was huge wars, you know, the people in Kiev and Ukraine, you know, it was just horrific. And, he, you know, he's not going to leave them alone. As far as I know, he's still got, um, I don't remember how many ships there were that he took with their seamen. He's never even, you know, returned the ships or, you know, as far as I know, allowed any Ukraine ships to go through um, that uh, waterway there. Um, it's just insanity. Well, I guess uh, uh, President uh, Ruby Riblin, he handed the torch off to Netanyahu and said, make a new government, form a new government. Well, I'm still thinking he's not going to have the numbers. He didn't have them before. Uh, why would he have them now? Amen. Israel still without a king, still voting King Jesus. Amen. Um, so we've got that going on. Um, and here in the United States, the whistleblower thing, everything's about the whistleblower. You know, some... You know, I, I, it sounds like some of Joe Biden's, some of the Democrats' sins are coming back to bite them in the tiny hiney to me, if you want to be quite frank about it. They get busted all the time, and if y'all are believing everything that's coming out of the Democrats' mouth, you're just foolish, okay? Just foolish. Um, I've been watching and listening and paying attention to this stuff for many years now, um, it's it, it it's almost like they tell on themselves. Everything that they tried to push on to... The, we're no longer in a Republican versus a Democratic state. We are in a war of righteousness versus evilness, okay? And we know that the victory belongs to Christ Jesus the Lord. Um, that's just a fact. I've read the whole good book and... He is victorious. He will be the king. Everlasting. Um, but more, you know, uh, these things that are happening, um, uh, it seems that Turkey also, um, today, Erdogan, yes, Erdogan's here on the United States soil. You know, all these haters of America are over in New York City, you know. And not only, you know, uh, NYC police are not even policing this event. Um, the UN, their own security forces, that's illegal in this land. And if you don't believe that, you need to read the Constitution, the bylaws, okay? Um, that's illegal. You can't be having a foreign entity on another nation's land providing safety, stability, and security. And that's another thing. Those words have been popping up for the last uh, day and a half. Uh, peace and prosperity. Uh, the global initiative. Climate change. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just like the Lord said it would be near the end. That... Uh, People would care more about the creation than they did than they do for the creator, and that's where we're at. We got PETA gropping about how uh, the evil things that they do to alligators, so that people can have uh, uh, handmade alligator or crocodile purses, boots, whatever. Um, you know, it's just insanity the things I've witnessed today. Um, and it's not going to get any better. <laughs> some days I wish I was just off on some... Let's go to the island of Patmos, okay? You know, where the Apostle John was. <laughs> John the Revelator, amen. Uh, speaking of which, you know, uh, Turkey, okay? It's believed that Turkey went in with a drone and struck against the Libyan National Army... Okay, now Libya is part of Ezekiel 38 war. Um, 
so that means if if Erdogan is against the Libyan National Army, then that means he's for that, uh, what was his name? Uh, Haktar, I believe. We had spoken about him some time back. Um, he was actually uh, Muammar Gaddafi before the United States took him out. Back in 2011, he was Muammar Gaddafi's mentor turned CIA spy uh, for the United States and then was given asylum here in the United States and he had his own little uh, Camp ha uh, Hagtar or whatever his name was uh, where he trained jihadists out in the country in Virginia, okay? Then, a couple of years ago, he took back over there to Libya, and he's the one that's been fighting for Tripoli, okay? So now, the UAE has backed up uh, the story that uh, is coming out of Libya, that uh, they witnessed a Turkish drone going into Libyan airspace. Um, then, uh, Erdogan today, I mean, it's almost like they don't even, they can't even, they're not even ashamed of telling their, what they believe is their truth, okay? Um, he's up there with maps and stuff while he's sitting on the little, t you know, sitting at the little bench up there talking about how he's going to take over all northern Syria, okay? Um, yeah, you might want to talk to President Bashar Assad, Assad about that one. Um, I mean, that's just craziness. And we're getting info here, uh, like two, maybe three days later, that's saying that United States troops, some 200, along with a THAAD missile si system, a battery um, missile defense system, and some other ammunitions um, going to Saudi Arabia. Newsflash. They're already there, okay? They're already there. It's believed that the United States has some 60,000 troops in the region, okay? So there's that. Plus, um, it came out of Lebanon news uh, earlier today that uh, there was a large military procession entering in to northeastern Syria from Iraq, okay? And it's believed that the United States is going to take over that portion. Well, I guess they're going to have to fight Turkey for it because Turkey's murdering whoever whoever they will, okay? Um, the fight is long from over, like... Uh, Foreign Minister uh, uh, Sergei Lavrov of Russia would have everyone believe, oh, the war in Syria is just about done. Newsflash, it's not. It's just now, I think, going to get started. Are we fixing to see the fulfillment of Isaiah 17.1? Quite possibly. Um, but like I said, today it's just been crazy. And tomorrow's going to be even more nuts. Um it's, it, I just, I cannot wrap my heart around how so many people who could help and who could really make a difference, you know, for all the hurt and the pain and the suffering, um, there's some 50 plus jihadi groups around the whole earth, okay? Different named ones. Okay, they're everywhere. They're like cockroaches. You turn out the light and they just all fall in line, okay? Uh, stealing, killing, destroying, raping, pedophile, cutting up little kids, doing whatever they feel they can, doing their wicked, their wicked, wicked stuff. Um, it's just, it's just so disheartening. It really is. And I thank God Almighty, amen, I thank Him that this is the end of the age. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, and I will be with you until the end of the age. We're going to stand on that truth, brothers and sisters in Christ. And just like he said, you know, it would be better 
that you would take a millstone and tie it around your neck and toss it off into the sea than that you would hurt any one of these little ones. And he was talking about the children. You know, all this trans this, trans that, bi, quo, non-binary, uh, nonsense. I mean, <laughs> it just truly is remarkable. It is remarkable the things that we are seeing happening. Um, you know, I'll be on here tomorrow. I got to give it a rest for the rest of this night. But, oh, well, then, you know, talk about earthquakes. There was a, a very large earthquake. In fact, there have been many earthquakes in the last uh, 66 hours or so in and around Istanbul, Turkey. Um, it started out as a, I believe it was a five a 5.8 is what was reported, but they have been feeling many more that are threes and fours and above, whatever, um, for the last 66 hours. Um, I myself have noticed that in Greece and then in Albania, Poland, there seems to be a rather large swarm of earthquakes in that area. So keep your heads up. Have a plan just in case, okay? Um, there was also, um, in Indonesia today, there was a large earthquake. I believe uh, 20 were killed and hundreds were injured. Um, I mean, it's just, it's off the charts now. And it's exactly as the Lord said it would be. The earth shall wobble to and fro like a drunkard <laughs> before that great and terrifying day of the Lord shall begin. Amen. Well, it's wobbling to and fro like a drunkard. If it's not happening down here in our region, it's happening down uh, further south, or it's happening now in the Middle East fairly well. Um, it's happening in Pakistan. It's happening in... Uh, Indonesia, it's happening all over the world. This is global. And it doesn't have anything to do with climate change. It has to do with God's righteous judgment upon His creation. Okay? If you've never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and accepted His free gift of salvation, please do so now. For Christ died for our sins just as the Scriptures proclaim and God the Father raised Him from the grave three days later. That's the gospel. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God rose him from the grave, you shall be saved. It's a free gift covered by the precious and holy, righteous blood of Jesus Christ the Lord. Um, please accept it. Please go to him now in prayer, I pray. And everyone in this forum says, please come to him. Jesus said, come to me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden who have heavy burdens, come to me and you shall find rest. For my yoke fits perfectly and it is light. He loves you. We love you. Come home. Maranatha, my brothers and sisters. We'll talk soon. Maybe upstairs. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Come. The Spirit and the Bride say come.